Hey everybody, what's going on today? Uh, today is going to be a crazy day. I'm kicking off the weekend and this is one of those days where professional life and private life are going to absolutely collide. I've got book sales and thrift stores to hit today, but I'm also going to be hitting quite a few errands, getting ready for a vacation next week, and I got to get ready. But first things first, I got to get to a library sale and I got to show you the haul. Coming up next. Hey everybody, it's Manny with Manny's Book Bag. I'm back with another video. Uh, well, I've got a very full schedule today and I really thought that it would be a great idea to take you along. One of the benefits that I love about being a seller and having my own schedule is that I can get things done as I need to professionally, but then I can also take care of the things that I need to at home. Today is Saturday morning. I've got a really good fill a bag sale to go to and it's an awesome bag sale. There's great thrift stores all around it. I'm not that far from home, so while I'm out, I'm also gonna be running quite a few errands. Now, many of you will recall that earlier in the year, I filmed a video that was all about library sales and a lot of my tips and tricks on how to really survive library sale season. This is an update to that as well because one of the things that I didn't really talk to and it has been brought up quite a bit in the groups is when you get to that library sale, how do you prioritize which categories you go to? And that's what I'm going to cover with you today. First things first, whenever I go to a library sale, obviously I'm going to target nonfiction categories and the way that I place priority on those categories in many ways is going to have to do with my familiarity with that sale and how they categorize them. If you're going to an extremely large sale, you're probably going to benefit from them having posted a map by category. If they do, make sure you take advantage of that and really, really dig deep and know where you're going to go as soon as you walk in. I've seen people that are first in line and walk in and get absolutely dusted by me because they have no plan when they get into the place. My top categories in order are going to be textbooks and if they don't have a textbook section I hit reference. I always go to reference because that's where they stuff a lot of teacher curriculums, homeschooling books, and textbooks that they got along the way. Once I'm done with textbooks I'll give you a quick tip as you're going through the sale keep your eye out for any book that has a used sticker on the spine. That is a great indicator that it is either a textbook or a book that is used for required college reading. Once textbooks are out of the way, the categories that I target the most are art, music, world history, military history. Those are the big ones right there. Then I'm going to hit biography and after biography, I'm probably going to hit what is my favorite category, religion and psychology. The reason why I love religion slash psychology is not because it has the biggest home runs. The categories that I named before, they're typically better in that way. The reason why I love religion and spirituality and self-help, the reason why I love that specific genre of book is because even though they may not have these big hundred and hundred and fifty dollar books all the time, they will have a very steady supply of bread and butter books. And by bread and butter, I mean those 10 to about $25 books that we all kind of just consider to be staples. The religion category is loaded with those. But I'm gonna go inside, I gotta get to this sale, but hopefully I've got something really good to show you when I get back. Let's and go. And I'm back. Well, I mentioned all the categories they usually go for first, but there is one exception in particular. If I go to a book sale and there are CDs available during bag sale day, I usually take all. I spent $15 today and look at what I got. I found about 21 really good FBA books, but I also got almost 400 CDs. I literally just, uh, instead of going to art and music, I made a V-line right for the CD rack and just clear the shelf. If I see a lot of DVDs, I completely snatch those up as well. Now, unfortunately, they didn't have DVDs today or I would have taken all of those because I have an immediate local source to, uh, to liquidate them. But check it out. I mean, for $15, you can't beat that. What do you think of that, CDs. everybody? That was pretty cool, huh? I got a lot of CDs. I mean, almost 400 CDs and I got uh, 20, 21 books. Now, here's the thing. It was a $5 fill -a bag sale, so there was no drawback. And the one exception that I will ever make from that specific game plan going into a library sale will be if CDs are available. If CDs are available, I'm going to fill up every bag and without asking questions, I'm going to wheel my cart over and I'm going to lay claim to every single CD that I can get 
get my hands on. For $5 a bag and getting 400 CDs, the amount of money that I'm going to make on FBA, eBay lots, and selling them off locally is absolutely sick. That was a great way to start the day, but I got to keep it moving because I've got other places to visit and I've got errands to run. Let's go. Here I am at another stop here. Oh my goodness. I uh, can't tell you guys. So many really, really good books. Some of these are former library. I don't know about your experience, but in my experience, they sell just about as well as the other kind. Most of the books here are going to sell for 15 or more, uh, but honestly, some of these are going to go 20 and above. Uh, some are just phenomenal finds. Uh, I'll be honest with you uh, This one surprised me a little bit. I looked at it when I look at fiction I love seeing large print on a popular author this right here. This is a 25 to 30 dollar sale easily uh, Definitely don't overlook them. I didn't go there first But I can definitely tell you that there's a lot of gold in there if you just know what to look for Well, that was another one in the basket. Check it out I uh, got another 22 books out of that place. It's been a really good sourcing afternoon. Uh, every place I've hit, I've gotten some really quality materials. Uh, great CDs. I can't wait to scan through these and see what's up. Yeah, it's getting pretty close in time now, so I better start wrapping this up and get some errands done. I'll be back with you in well, a minute. here I am. I arrived at the next stop. I'm going to come in here. i got a couple duds i got to turn in, and we're going to see what... Uh, we're gonna see what we got. One of the things you wanna keep track of is that your local stops, uh, a lot of them are gonna have sales. And being a holiday weekend, uh, your local used bookstores are usually doing something. If you got a half price books near you, they're doing 20%. So I, uh, I'm i gonna make sure I hit as many as I can today and maybe a couple tomorrow actually, because they're gonna try and fill their shelves, which means they're gonna have some better than average books getting pushed out into clearance and other spots. So let's see what we got. I'm going in here. <laughs> That's funny. Check this out. It's pretty hilarious. Check this out guys in case your uh, local Facebook groups and your local stores are out of fidgets If they're not completely overloaded with them guess check it out. You can buy them at half price books Well, that was a really really good stop. I only got 11 books out of the deal, but I was able to trade in some duds and uh, Really got them for a buy cost under two dollars a piece I don't have anything in these bags that's going to go for less than 15. I've got three of them in particular that I go that are going to go for well over 25. I'm going to have to research them a little more when I well, get Well, here home. I am. I've arrived at the next stop now, and this one's not actually a thrifting site. Uh, one of the errands that I had to run today, I've been putting off for as long as I could because I wanted to get it done right before vacation, is his hair. It's time to get it cut. It's time to start looking like a human being again and get ready for vacation. And just like that, my hair is going to be done. And just like that, all done. A haircut's one of those things that whenever I do it, I feel like a new person. I feel like a weight has been lifted and it's just nice to walk around not feeling like a wildebeest. Now I've gotten a lot done. I got my haircut, I got some clothes, I went to the bank, I went to the grocery store for some beverages because I am absolutely parched. But here's the question of the day. When you go to a sale, what categories do you like to target first? Is there a particular strategy that you go after when you go to visit these sales? And if so, what is it? Is there a category that you always unequivocally always target first if you can? And is there a category you always leave for last? Are there any categories that you go after besides books like I do with CDs? And something that I would also like to know, is there a category that you don't necessarily go at first, but you always go after because you appreciate the consistency? Go ahead and comment down below. I would love to read about the different strategies that you folks employ. Now this is a holiday weekend and I'm not going to close out this video without giving a really sincere thank you to you families out there who have paid the ultimate sacrifice but losing a loved one uh, served in the military armed forces. Uh, thank you very very much for protecting our freedom and thank you for your sacrifice and to you men and women that are in the military thank you very much for fighting so that we can be free well that's all for today's video folks if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see me make more of them please remember to share like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't liked this video yet go ahead and smash that like button and if you're not subscribed tap on that book bag up there in the corner and also, when you're in there, tap on the bell. That's going to set you up with notifications so that you know when new videos drop. Until next time, let's go make some money.